Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing so well. So I'm up bright and early today. As you can see, the sun isn't even up. Well, it is, but it's cold and it's raining outside. Um, so you can't really see the sunlight. But I've got up quite a few hours before Madeline does, just so I can actually have the time to get ready and actually film it for you guys, because I really want to show you what my everyday, I guess, well, when I do wear makeup, my everyday makeup look is these days because I obviously, now that I'm a mom, don't have the time to get full glam every day or I barely even have the time to do my makeup most days. So yeah, I really want to show you guys my super quick and easy routine for when I do. Also in the studio will be my, I guess, skincare routine because I've always preached that it is so important to take care of your skin for your makeup to look good. Good skin equals good makeup um, and especially with my current skin situation I found it even more important to look after my skin because I do want it to go back to looking its best so I'm going to show you guys what I do for that as well so yeah I'm just going to jump right into it if you are interested in seeing my skincare and everyday makeup routine please stick around and enjoy this video okay so the first step now I don't do this every day I do this every few days um, whether I'm wearing makeup or not, is I use the Ulla Henriksen Cold Plunge Pore Mask. This has been really good in helping even out my skin texture and helping with the pores that I never used to have, but I do now. Um, I found it really um, difficult to, I guess, cope with pores because I've never really had them. Um, and now I do, so I will literally do anything to help and minimize them. And this mask has been amazing for that. So you literally just want to apply this all over your face, mainly focusing on like your problem areas. So just like that. So ideally when you wear makeup, you want it to last as long as possible. And I found that this also really helps with the longevity of my makeup. Taking care of your skin in general is going to help with that. So um, you want to make sure that you have a good skincare. Okay, so I'm now just going to let this sit on my skin for 15 minutes. And then with some cool water, I'm going to lather it up and then rinse it off. So I've just rinsed it off and my skin is feeling fresh. So I'm going to moisturize now and I'm going to use the Ulla Henderson Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. I'm going to take this and just apply it on my face. And this is going to help hydrate and brighten my skin. At the moment, a lot of my acne is mainly just scarring. Like they're not as um, big and bouldery as they were um, a few weeks back. Like they're all pretty flat. Um, all this is just scarring. This is has gone down heaps, and it's um, left quite a bit of scarring because I am really naughty and I pick my pimples, which is a big no-no. I should take my own advice, but don't ever pick your pimples <laughs> because I leave scars. <laughs> And then it will take longer for those to go away. Next is eye cream. You guys know how much I preach the importance of eye cream. So um, I obviously have dark circles and I really want to hydrate that area so that when I um, hydrate and pump that area so that when I do apply my makeup, it doesn't look so puffy. Um, and I'm taking the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream and just applying a bit under each eye. And I'm going to tap that in with my ring finger because as I've said before, your ring finger is your most delicate finger and you really want to be very delicate around your eye area. You don't really want to pull or tug underneath because that will cause more wrinkles. You always want to make sure that you take it to your top eyelid too. Okay, so final step to my skin prep is primer. Now, I don't usually use primer because I don't believe in them. However, because my skin has changed so much, I've gotten like a little bit oily in like some areas of my skin. Um, and makeup just doesn't sit the same on my skin anymore. So I do use a primer here and there. Um, I am very, very, very picky about which ones I use, however. So, you know, this one's good. <laughs> Um, and this is the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. This helps brighten my skin so much. Um, and it just helps my makeup sit so well, um, which is something that I've been struggling with a lot lately. Um, if you see me looking behind, by the way, it's because I'm using the big mirror on my bathroom wall. Which is something that's super convenient, actually, about filming in my bathroom. 
but yeah as i was saying makeup just doesn't sit the same on my skin so i've been doing my best to use the best skincare products and um some good primers to help with that because um even though i don't wear that much makeup anymore um well very rarely i still want it to look good and i still want it to last as long as possible so with my makeup, I like to keep it looking super fresh, super natural. Um, I don't want it to look like I'm wearing a lot. I mean, even though I have a lot of acne to cover, I still don't like to apply a lot of makeup. Like if my acne shows through, then whatever, um, as long as my skin looks natural. So yeah, I am going to use the Becca Skin Love Weightless Glow Foundation. This is an amazing foundation. Um, one of my absolute favorites. So I'm literally just, um, I'm applying it on top of my bronzer. This is what I use in my little palette um, because I don't have my little palette up here. But um, yeah, I also want to do a makeup look that's going to take almost zero time because I literally don't have that much time. Because for some reason, every single time that I'm about to get ready or do something for myself, my child thinks it's appropriate to cry. It's an appropriate moment to cry. Um, so yeah, I usually just don't get that much time. Um, and I like to add a little bit of the, Naked, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Foundation. Not too much. This is more so for a better color match um, because the shade of the Becca one is a little bit too light for me. Um, so it's literally just that much foundation. And I'm picking up my Beauty Blender. Mixing those together and applying this all over my skin. If you see me bend this way, look behind me, I'm all behind the camera. Um, I'm, I'm just using my bathroom mirror. So next I like to do my eyebrows. I, I do things in a weird sequence these days. Um, so for my eyebrows, as always, I'm using my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 4. So just brushing off my brows. I really don't do too much to them at all. Um, I quite like how they look naturally. So I just want to fill in the gaps. Um, and yet leave my eyebrows looking as natural as possible. And then I am just taking the Benefit Brow Gel and applying that through the brows. Okay, next is concealer and I'm taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. You guys know this is an old school holy grail of mine. Um, and I'm not applying too much of that, I'm just applying a few dots just underneath my eyes just to help uh, hide the fact that I'm a little bit sleep deprived. <laughs> and then I'm just pushing that in with my beauty blender. This isn't a beauty blender, this is actually a Model Rock Lashes um, makeup sponge and I absolutely love it. I love how it's got like the flat side. Um, it's perfect for when I wanna bake my under eyes and the rest of my face. So literally just like that. And then you want to set your under eyes. I'm not going to be baking because no time for that. These days there is absolutely no time for baking. Um, so I'm just going to make sure there are no creases under there. And I'm taking two shades of the Becca um, Multitasking Perfecting Powder. These are the shades Fair and Beige um, because Fair is a bit too light and beige is a bit too dark, but mixed together, they're the perfect shade. Um, and I'm just using that to set my under eyes. But I will say I do take more of fair than I do of beige, because I like my under eyes to be a little bit lighter. And then I blend that down into my cheek area just to give my cheeks a little extra coverage. Okay, so next is lashes, and I'm going to curl my lashes using my Sephora Eyelash Curler and using my favorite mascara, which is the Benefit Roll Lash Mascara. Currently, this has been my favorite for quite a few months. Pretty much throughout, it's been, it's been you know, it's been like a year. I was going to say it was throughout my pregnancy, but I had it with me when I was overseas in the US last year, and that was from the end of June. Um, to all of July, so that's pretty much been a year now. 
Um, yeah, I still absolutely love it. And next is just the rest of my face. Um, for bronzer, I use the Ciate London Palm Island bronzer. And I'm just using it with an inkblot brush. I don't really put too much, just a little bit, just to give my face um, a bit of color and dimension. Like I said, this is like my five minute makeup look. So I literally rush this every time I do it because I literally have less than five minutes to do it. Um, and it works, like it makes me look alive. So just like that. And do you see how I didn't really go too heavy with my foundation? You can still see the pimples. They're just not that bad. Um, for blush, I'm using my Holy Grail MAC Warm Soul. This has been my favorite for years. So I'm just packing that on to my Zoeva brush and just packing that onto my cheeks. I find that the secret to looking alive is the rosiness and the flush in your face that blush gives you. So I pick blush over bronzer any day in the week. Um, that was very, a very random thing to say, but it's true. <laughs> and then lastly is highlighter and I'm just taking the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. And just applying a small amount of that. I don't go too heavy with the highlighter. Who am I? I used to like pack on the highlighter so much. Um, but no, I sweat throughout the day now, so... Yeah, there's no need to go crazy with highlighter anymore. Um, but yeah, for lips, I pretty much just use a lip balm. I just opened up this Nivea Strawberry Shine lip balm. I like using ones with colour because they add a bit of colour to your lips without using... Ooh, this one's a bit brighter than the one I usually use. I usually use the peach one. But I thought I'd give this one a go. Hey, I actually like that, girl. Let's give my lips some nice colour. I love Nivea lip balms. They're my absolute favourite brand. I usually use this one. I have brand new packets of this all over my house in case I lose one. But this is my absolute favourite lip balm. So yeah, this is pretty much it for my everyday mum look. This takes me five minutes. If I have five minutes. Um, but yeah, I pretty much rush this every time I do it. But if you did enjoy this video, please let me know in the comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. My child just woke up, I can hear her crying, so I've got to go. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And also let me know what else you'd like to see, because it's been a hot minute since I filmed a makeup tutorial on this channel. So yeah, definitely let me know, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.